I'm in downtown right now, Jewelry District. Uh, I actually went into one of these buildings and went into the bathroom. It's funny because they had one of those uh, little latch, not latches, but uh, I guess doorways to, uh, to the pipelines. And um, I mean, they're usually locked, but the thing is that I, you know, I, I use the bathroom. And then uh, I just, I saw it, it went like that. I'm like, whoa, they have a camera in here or something. They're filming me. But no, it wasn't that. It was just that, uh, uh, I guess there was uh, some sort of wind gust or something that, that kind of moved it a little bit. So I, I kind of just, you know, I was curious and grabbed a little bit of uh, tissue paper. And I, uh, I you know, I, I opened it and then it was just, it was just the pipes. And I could feel the like little breeze coming by. I was a little freaked though. I'm like, whoa, seriously, dude, it's a bathroom in LA. <laughs> Anyways, downtown, I love it. I just, I, I want to live here. I want to, I mean, I live in LA, but I want to live in downtown. Like, just the buildings, the, the, the sounds, the people, the hustle, the bustle. It's not New York, but it's still really, really awesome. Um, I don't know, the smell, the smog, the gas. <laughs> it's uh, really cool, really cool. So yeah, just walking down right now enjoying the scenery and as you guys can see behind me the big buildings and in front of me I got 20 minutes on my meter so I'm trying to use it up so as you can see I already have 15 minutes on my timer I got five minutes to get back to my house but I'm mean, not to my house to my car um, I still think that's enough time. The funny thing is, uh, today is the championship game, the BCS championship game. I'm wearing Oregon, <laughs> Oregon backpack, Oregon or Oregon little sack, Oregon sweater. So I'm pretty sure that uh, people think I'm a tourist. It's so pretty. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I love yeah, being around here in this sort of area. It's just, I don't know, it's uplifting to me. Yeah, I've been told, I've been told I'm a city boy. Uh, I guess so, because, you know, that's, I, I want to live here. I want to be here. I want to walk around. I want to work here. I love it. I mean, I, I love traveling. Don't get me wrong. I love being around other places and getting to see different places and, and visit people and, and get to see, you know, different, different areas of the world. But, I don't know, I just, you can't beat L.A. So I got here, actually on time, I pulled out the camera, that's why it says that I'm a minute late. And look at that, already blinking red. Where's the red? There you go. Luckily, I don't have a ticket. I'm gonna <laughs> chill in here for a little bit, for a cool minute. Um, hopefully there isn't any meter maid that comes by and parks like in front of me so I can't get out. I don't think they do that, do they do that? Yeah, I don't like parking enforcement people. They're ruthless. And if any of you know, you cannot fight a parking ticket no matter how hard you try. They always have the say on whether or not it is a valid parking ticket or not. That, I believe, is a street performer. Um, handing some over to that person. If he gives, then more will be given onto him. I... Have you ever seen that commercial? I don't know if it's like some life insurance commercial where um, some person stops another person from like crossing the street because a car runs by and then someone else sees it and then uh, like passing by on a bus and then sees it and then opens a door for someone else to like walk through and then someone else sees that and then they do something nice like a lady drops something and then the person picks it up and gives it to her and then someone else walking by sees it and you know it just passes it on I totally just saw that right now like like you know I mean it was it was extremely uh, thoughtful for him to you know give him um, some change when he himself works for change uh, Maybe as a street performer. I mean, I don't know who he is. I, I didn't see him performing or anything, but maybe he plays a guitar and, and, and just waits for somebody to, you know, drop some change off, and, and that's how he um, gets through life. But for him to, you know, pass it on, that, that's actually... It just, it, just, it just hit me right now, you know? Like, I'll, I'll try to give, like, some change to the next person that, um, that is deserving of it, I guess. 
No, that sounds shallow. <laughs> so I'll, I'll try to give change to the next person that is in need of it. Although I am in need of it. <laughs> I totally saw the meter maid this time. They're on motorcycles now. Can you believe that? Motorcycles. Oh my goodness. I was gonna put in some extra change, but then I thought to myself, you know what? I'll just drive around a little bit. This is my city. I, I do enjoy going around. I just don't want to be wasting gas, you know? I'm gonna let this bus pass so he doesn't hit me. I think I see another meter maid. And he's either a meter maid or a cop. You tell me. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Ah, I don't like you guys. I think our city spends more money on equipping our meter maids than actually like fixing the roads and stuff. Uh, good times. Gotta live in the city. We're at Zoops tonight, watching the national championship game. Oregon versus Auburn. And Janine's wearing her wings. Thank you. 